FedEx Cup is huge for us, so it's vital to try and shoot yourself into that top 30 at East Lake and try and give yourself an opportunity to win the FedEx Cup. Jason Day is well on his way, leading the FedEx Cup standing since a dominant victory at the Players last month. Wire to wire champion, Jason Day, 2016 Players Champion. But the Aussies' awesomeness is stating the obvious. With just 13 events left in the regular season, there are some things worth noting about this season's FedEx Cup race. Day is just the fifth player to eclipse 2,000 points at this stage of the season since the scoring system was revised prior to the 2009 campaign. He also leads thanks to a staggering 40% of potential points. The other player above 32.4% is fellow countryman Adam Scott. And Adam Scott is two for two in Florida. I've really put myself in a great position to set my whole year up and it'd be amazing to have a run at the FedEx Cup at the end of the year. Scott and Day are two of the three multiple winners this season. The other, reigning FedEx Cup champ Jordan Speed. Jordan Spieth again. Now 28 weeks into the season, the players occupying the top three spots in the standings have multiple wins for just the fourth time in FedEx Cup history. Oh my goodness, <laughs> brilliant. At this point last year, we had two wins. So we're kind of right on track to close this one out. It was really good. Overall, 237 players have earned at least one FedEx Cup point thus far. The average take, 407. That's the highest at this stage of the season since 2009. I'm a competitor, I love to play. Hopefully we keep on coming down at East Lake and having uh, chances to win the cup and be really close. Last season, it took an average of 458 points to qualify for the FedEx Cup playoffs. 88 players have already reached that number this season, including 12 first-timers. And Knox rustles up his maiden victory in Shanghai. Thanks, Cap. To me, it's, it's been amazing. It builds excitement as the year goes on. Not to mention unpredictability. There have already been eight different players atop the standings, which sets a new FedEx Cup regular season record, four of whom have been in their 20s, including CIMB Classic champion Justin Thomas. I feel like I can contend and win most weeks that I play, if not every week, and it's just a matter of getting my game there and most importantly, being patient. And though youth has been served with five players in their 20s inside the top 10 in points, the 30-somethings have the edge, racking up 17 tournament victories. This is number nine for Sergio Garcia. This season's combination of dominant performances and volatility atop the standings should make for an exciting finish over the next few months.